Um, so he was pretty much like in a polyamorous relationship with me. Mm-hmm. Even now, he don't look like because he's fighting. He is against me being like my dynamic or what I want. That's For what how does he express with. that? He all he thinks he wants to approve it. He was like, "No, we're not doing that." And I'm like, "But I this is what I was trying to do in the beginning." And he's like, "No." Well, I met you on this mission. That's all, that's my whole there thing. Yeah. And mm-hmm. he's like, "No, we got a baby. We got a kid. Like we also going well, like no, well, that we can not also doing be that." Grown too, so that's what, yeah. He had kids that. before. Mm-hmm. How many? How many baby mamas does he have? Three. He's got it. Well, okay, yeah, he's got an ex-wife, and then he got me, and then he's got his other. His nine, he has a nine-year-old daughter. He's got two two boys. And how old is your guys' kid? Two. Okay. Okay. So I am in the process now as we speak. Like, I had talked about it this morning. <laughs> Yo, so we poly. Like, what's going on? Um, the issue is that he thinks that I'm cheating already. Uh-huh. And I'm not. Like, I'm really not. Like, I'm not doing nothing. I don't have, he think I got hoes. I don't. I don't have no hoes. I have, like, Instagram people. Or, you know, like, people are just, and they're going to be like, oh, good morning, beautiful. You know, like, that type of thing. That's not, it doesn't count. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't count. Right. <laughs> right, like he called, he asked me today. He was like, "So, uh, you know about the poly thing?" Anytime he brings up the poly thing, I my ears perk up like a little kitty cat. Like, mm-hmm, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you coming to the dark side? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. my goodness. And he's like, um, "So, you know, we decided to go that route. So, do you have somebody already in mind?" And I was like, "No, honestly, I don't. Mm-hmm. I really have to like start looking." And he's like, "So, you ain't got nobody already?" And I said, "No." He was like, "So, no." He said, "Do you think that?" Um, since you want to be poly so bad, don't you think I should know about the men that you are talking to right now? And I'm like, well, I'm not talking to anybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I really haven't found anybody that I, that's worthy of me bringing them to you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, yo, this sense. is. And, and then he's like, well, why is that? I said, because you haven't approved it. Mm. Not that I need his approval, but I'm not going to just, because I cheated before. I was going to say, it makes it easier when yeah. there's an agreement. Yeah, and because that's not poly. That's yeah, just, you true. just a nigga that, a bitch cheating. That, that's cheating. You're you just know. cheating ass bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's not me, even though he think that about me. You know what I'm saying? How long have you been fighting these cheating allegations? Damn, that long? Right. Mm-hmm. Shit. After since, the baby? Before yep, the baby? Since like three years, the baby. Mm-hmm. Oh. You think it was... Okay, let pregnant? me tell you. Were you pregnant first? No, he caught me flirting with somebody in my DM, okay. like some bullshit. It was a nigga I didn't give a fuck about, and I just typed some shit like, yeah, I miss you too, like that kind of shit, and he hacked my phone. That's why you don't go in nobody's phone, because you're going to always find what you look for. I literally always say that. Like, keep your always. phone. Like, and I feel like this. he's got this new obsession with my phone now, and it's turning him into a super villain. I'm writing this joke about it. Or whatever. And it's I mean, like, that sounds like torture for you, though. Okay, so so basically, with, with what you have going on with him, do you, do you want to let him go so he can go find what he wants? I have presented that to him as well. But he and doesn't want to leave? No. He's mm-hmm. like, no. Because he thinks he can fix you. Pretty, that it could be that. It could be either he really, really loves me and he wants to fight for me and make it work or whatever. Or it could be... No, you stuck with me, bitch. You not about to have what you want. Oh no, that type of thing. Oh no, that's pretty vindictive. Which I think, which I think that's what it is. <laughs> Stories like or, these make me afraid. Or it could be <laughs> afraid. Yeah. yeah. Or it could be. I don't know. It's basically those two things. Mm-hmm. It could be like fear. He don't think that he's gonna ever find that. I think he's afraid that I'm gonna find somebody better than him or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, and well, it's gonna be a combination of people. Based on if your mission goes through as planned. Yeah, but it's not like it'll be a rotating thing. No, you know I'm, what I'm saying, saying? but but it, I'm guessing. You, well, not even guessing, but based on how your design is, you want multiple guys, so there's going to be variety there, and then also an additional woman. Um, with him, I just threw the woman in because I I've been like seeing girls that I'm attracted to, and I'm like, hmm, maybe I could. But I've never pursued a, like a, an emotional relationship. I'm about to have before. all the women that have expressed these thoughts come do a show. You oh. definitely should, because <laughs> this is okay. This this is a thing. This is a thing. It is a thing. I'm gonna so, tell you another topic you should talk about one day because it exists. DL women, women on the down low. It is a mm. thing. I it don't really not. think that's a thing. It I is. think I. Th- all right. All right. So. Let's entertain that. Uh, well, in real time, mm-hmm. when you say DL, have they in, had uh, interaction with the women, or they want to, but they? It's a little bit of both. These are these are women who are in heterosexual relationships, whether it's married, which is you know hooking up, living baby daddy, or whatever. Yeah. But they're in heterosexual straight relationships, but they 
either desire to have hookups with other women or they are secretly hooking up with women behind their partner's back. So in... That's, you, a, that's a community too. Yeah, okay. Um, these women were... Do you think Do you think they actually are gay and they just are in heterosexual situations for the sake of... Um, no, Same face? No, they just they like dick and pussy. Like I like lemon, I like limes. Like that's, <laughs> that's it. Okay, so with that, do you think did, were they introduced to the idea of same sex interactions based on doing something for the man, and now they got turned out, or what? Nope. No, just down they just like both. Mm-hmm. That what, what's up with the honesty or lack thereof? Like, what, what's what's the motivation for the lack of honesty? Every man is not into threesomes. Mm-hmm. Every man, every man before my husband, I've been bisexual for a long time. And I have presented the idea to have a threesome with every male that I have been with, you know, since I've been dating. And it has always been, I ain't with that gay shit. Oh, hell no. You ain't about to know. No. no man that I have ever been with has ever been like, hell yeah, except for the one I'm with now. Like, I would bring a bitch home right now. He'd be like, yeah, how you doing? Oh, you want to eat? Because he'll cook. He'll cook us some bomb-ass meal. And then fuck shit out of us. And we had, like, pipe hookah. It'd be a good time. Shit. So ladies, like, hook it up. I'm, you know, be a good time. Say my number? Look, you know. <laughs> You know, it'll be a good time. You get fucked and fed good. I guarantee Fuck you that. Fuck some tacos. You know what I'm saying? Because he's, he's a good ass cook. He's, he can cook his ass off. Uh, I know you. He's yeah, uh, so evil. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, um, so that's just something. Just giving you some topics out there because it exists. Again, I know because I was a well, part I need, of that. Well, the, the thing that I try to do when I bring up a topic like that with a very. Um, specific group, I try not to have conversations with a person uh, that's a representative in the room. Like, uh. like when I have men and only men in here um, and they start talking about women, mm-hmm. I either try to be the voice of what women would probably say, but that's guessing. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. But if they want to have that conversation, I like to have you say the same things with a woman in the room. I got you. Okay. And the same thing for you know women too. Yeah, I mean, I would say... I stand by anything that I say in this interview. You know, I mean, I'm a, <laughs> Why I'm do you say like a campaign it. speech? I'm going to stand I'm, by I'm it. I'm barely speaking right now, but I approve this message. Yeah. <laughs> Spinelli, I'm sorry, Bella. Bella Spinelli, and I approve this message. Power yes, by Hughley. Power by Hughley. You sound like an Power HP uh, sister company. I know, right? That's the goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why are you standing like a dude right now? You sitting like a dude. I just, told you. Like, I mean, rapper I mean, hands. It's just rapper <laughs> hands. Rapper, rapper <laughs> hands, yeah. I didn't mean to. My bad. No, you. Uh, it's not a bad thing. I just looked back and I just caught that. It's like, okay, go ahead. So, yeah, I don't want me to be like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah go I'm ahead. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, that was that was basically the story. I forgot what else I was saying. But that's the story. The, right? the conf- we were at the conference or somewhere. I, yeah, I did not... Think this conversation is gonna go that way? I was gonna have. I had so many different say, things what, to talk about. What was your talking oh my god, today? I'm so sorry. I no, you like good. No, you good. The, no, this is great. Good. This is great. So I need to listen to your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what well, um, I guess what preferences? Um, uh, what what type of preference do you have when it comes to? Are your the preference that you have for partners? Are they the same for men and women? Like personality wise, looks wise, like what 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 aisles do you go down? Um, with men, I thought that I had a type, but I do not. Really? I do not have a type with men because, um, so the guy I'm with now is kind of short and bald and like the yellowest of the yellowest. Like he's, you know, super hot, light skin. Um. What's short to you? He's like five, six. That's definitely okay. short. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm four eleven, so every man okay. that's like is tall. Everybody that's why I asked. You know that's why I asked. Yeah. And I'm more um short, shorter men like love me because it make him feel like Shaq. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it makes them feel like Shaq. Bro. They like, feel like, like their whole man. life until they like meet me. Oh, I see the top of that bitch head. Oh, I'm man, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Little do they know. Yes, they love me. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I have no type. I like that the way he looks. I, I like, you know, taller man with locks. I was going to say that anyway, not just because you tall with locks, but I'm just saying. You know, I do like that, you know. Um, My beard connects. See? <laughs> 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 um, I, I, ha- I just like men. You okay. Know? I, like, I like men who are confident um, and who are, I, I'm interested in funny men. I've never dated a man that was funny. Uh-huh. So, like, I have a few crushes now. You get, what about the comedy, comedian community? Oh, uh, no. Well, okay. 
nobody that I know that's a comedian, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do have crushes that um, I would like to put out there on the record <clears throat> and shoot my shot if I am able to once my current partner approves it. I was about to say said, and then I thought about that because mm-hmm. uh, I keep forgetting. Because yeah, okay. now I have not made any any um like I haven't shot my shot or whatever. But mm-hmm. there's three comedians right now. Oh, she had a list. That's well, why he keep asking you questions. Yeah. So if, what you gonna say if uh you got a roster already? Mm-hmm. What um mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's my partner's name. Is, his name that's his name. Uh-huh. That's name of my baby. My second baby daddy. The first day last night. No, this first time. Oh okay. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Eskimo sisters. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, All know. right. So, what about women? What type of women are you attracted um, to? I like boobs. Okay. It's gonna be very, very uh, physical because I know it sounds bad, but that's just you know. I mean, like, there's no bad to me. I yeah, mean, well, that's not my community. You know, it's gonna sound like oh, she just wants it for her bodies. Yes, that's absolutely. Exactly what I, I was want. about to say that. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I like boobs. Um. Um, and again, like there's like this this dating app for like girls to meet other girls, mm. and it's a new thing now where there's like trans people on there. I say people because I don't know what to call them. I don't know if you call the well, boys you have to understand their pronouns and, and right. Yeah. But I don't know. So there there's trans people on the app now, but they're like. Have you ever been one, a trans person? I haven't, but I'm thinking about it now because I'm like. <laughs> okay, let me throw this at you because. Based on your preference, your mm-hmm. your sexual preference of liking both, have you ever thought about finding a man that has breast and then that has not had the surgery? I would love that. I like like I like the, those videos like that. I don't know if, but see the yeah, problem is that uh, of course they yeah. got point for everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think I would like that, <clears throat> but the issue is that those type of people usually don't like women like me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I like, okay, people are like, oh, I would date. A, the questions I get asked all the time: Would you date a bisexual man? Would you date a bisexual man? Yeah, I would date a bisexual man. I mean, based on what you described, it sounds like he was married yeah. to a bisexual man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I would date a, like an openly bisexual man. Okay. But bisexual men don't really look my particular way. They have mm-hmm. a certain type of woman that they like. What type of woman do they like? It ain't me. Oh, and I know that <laughs> he said it quick. It ain't me. Honey. He it's says it's so me. angry. I it know, ain't me. It's not me. I um, tried. No, it ain't me. Um, I worked at Tokyo Valentino for like five years. That's a, is that, that the a club or the sex store? It's sec- both. It's um, okay. This is it's a it's funny. I just hour, had some. Yeah, it's a twenty four hour store at the at the top. Sex toys. Have you ever done and the glory the hole? Have we do what? The glory hole. I mean, it's a whole no, absolutely not. Okay. Um, I've never participated in anything down there. I just worked there. I managed the space and I was the buyer there. Um, and my actually my partner was a manager, the store manager there for a couple years too. Wow. Yeah, so we um that's how I ended up having my, my adult store business on the side. Um was through there. I kinda Oh, you pushing P. Uh, and D. Yeah. Uh, D and P and all of this, maybe a little C. Yeah. Little I don't C. know either. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta gotta figure Google it out, it. Y'all. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, there's a, a, cl- a club at the t- at the bottom. There's 24 hours. It's all gay men in there. It's all gay men. Um, that place is like riddled with disease and drugs and crime. Okay, I want no parts. Mm, don't go at all. <laughs> I so, mean, you go to the store part, okay. but like, I'm not gonna get ready to pay. So going there. going back to like your community and then your man is a swinger. How often do you guys think about or have those scares with when it comes to the disease? Well, we don't swing anymore. Um, and then when we did, we were not, um, we didn't do like the wild stuff with anybody at the parties and stuff. You know, we were real strategic with it. We would build friendships with another couple. Mm-hmm. And so we would have like just a couple or two that we would, um, you know, just kind of have a good time with. And these were couples that we, you know, trusted that we knew were all tested you know, um, we just kind of did other stuff together. So raw dogged it? Not the test? No, okay. absolutely not. What are the rules? Um, what were your rules? Because everyone seems to have different rules. Well, we didn't really have rules per se, but we had like um, understanding. I was going to say understanding. Yeah. yeah. So like some couples, they have like um, you no know, kissing. You know, you don't get that bitch in the mouth. Sometimes Told like, you. yeah, <laughs> sometimes it's uh, no pussy eating. Like I really, I didn't realize that. I just didn't like to watch them eat pussy. Um, hmm. 
to certain people though. But sometimes I was really into it. But sometimes I didn't like. Um, we were, Which one is more intimate to you, kissing or the uh, giving head? Kissing, for okay. by far. Yeah, yeah. I think by kissing. Um, but and then we were. I think the biggest thing was was in the rules were that um, if the other person like we would have a. What is it when wrestling when you you can time out like you can tap get somebody out? yeah tap out words, but so. I could he could pull somebody off of me or I could pull somebody off of him or snatch him up on like no it looks too intimate it, it, and and he did he's done that before like if a dude was just going too long if, or he seen me like enjoying it too much he'd be like all right blow the whistle like that's it what's you know? enjoying I mean but <laughs> it's supposed to be enjoyed what's enjoying it too exactly. much like like you're exactly. like that was like you issue. having like you this is the line for fun and then this is the line for feelings. Yes. And he's getting close to feelings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it was. He was like, you came three times. Like, his, that's his thing. You came three times, that's it. Then you got to get up. It's, uh, it's, it's my turn. Like, that's his whole thing. That's hilarious. It's, yeah, it's, it's hilarious. That's, that's a wild hilarious. sentence. So I was like, this, okay, so this, I'm this, sitting up there. I can't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, this is a community that so I, I was so I have a question. So yes. I have a question. Yes. So I've heard a woman say this in about her threesomes. Um, she got upset that her man finished with the other woman. Is that a thing for you too? Not for me. Okay, you finish when you finish. Mm-hmm. Get there when you get there. I think yeah. it's different though in the situation because like you're polyamorous, so it doesn't really matter as far as like who gets the. No, I had a. Th- I'm gonna tell you this. I had a threesome before milk. with some, and I did get. This is the first time I ever had. This is the first threesome I had, and this was the first time I ever like felt the feelings of jealousy like with a boyfriend, and I was mad because I was livid because. I went to the bathroom, oh, they kept and going? they kept going. Mm. But it was I couldn't even be like I'm thinking about it now because I'm you know more mature mm-hmm. and you know. But I couldn't be mad. I, number one, I didn't commu- We didn't talk about anything on the ride there. You know what was like. Did what, you what come back and stop it? Hell yeah, yeah! I was like, "What the fuck?" Go, ah, we, I said, "Get your dick out," and we going home. So and we did. He went home fussing. He still had his dick out. He, we um. Uh, she's like, she's a white girl this time. Mm. I really wasn't feeling her because it was all pink down there. It just like raw meat, and I couldn't eat her pussy. I was just like, uh, I, I, I can't. I can't. Oh, not. I can't. It was like raw meat down there. Like I, I just could not. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Like, is there something I can do for you guys? Like, I'm just like, no. Nah. I was just like, shut up. This point, me and my. I don't baby. know what's w- like, which was more problematic, your so. man voice, your white lady voice. Oh, <laughs> your white lady voice was a little creepy. Sorry, I mean, that's how I was. Just like, oh my god. So she was just so excited to have us both there. She's like, oh my, I just love Black Clock. Oh, my God. I was going to say, she got I that. I knew I was about to say. I was so excited. You guys that. were here. It's like, she was, like, really, like, all into it. I just couldn't. Like, the nipples just look. It just looked half done. Like, one cooked all the way. She'd go in the oven a little yeah, bit longer. Yeah, that makes sense. Two or three, 15, 20 more minutes. We love white people here at this. You know, uh, I, I just show. couldn't. You know, but anyway, I was like, get your dick out of it, and we going home. And I was mad. And I was cussing him out the whole way. How you go? I stopped. I went to the bathroom. He's like, oh, oh, oh. he's dumb as he don't know. He uh-huh. like, oh, oh no, I just trying to get my dick sucked. Like, so I'm like, now I'm, it was very immature of me. <laughs> you know, woman doing man voice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 so, Do we so, all sound like Neanderthals and like the, the most primitive creatures ever? Yes. Is that what I make it sound like? I thought I was going to give you a voice. Exactly. I was just trying to get my wet. It was wet. I was just, you brought me in for the wet. I was staying in the wet. I thought, why were you getting mad if you got wet? Oh, yeah, yeah. I do that. Yeah, it's girl, girl, girl. Yeah. Mm, but spoiled. I try to get the thought out, you know, yeah. at least. You know, yeah. I, 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 it's pretty accurate, though. I think okay. it's pretty accurate. No, no, it's definitely. Yeah. Oh, it's so we went back the next week, though. And finished because I felt so bad. She was like, "Oh my god, like, oh you know, just we just try again, you guys, just come together, you know. We had such a chemistry." Today. She was so supportive, you know. Yeah, and I was like, "All right, all right," you know. So we tried it again, and then um, again, I how's the planning go for that? I was like, gonna say, like, what? Like, I like, like, it was like, uh, the- you off on Tuesday? Cause we gonna go back over there and try to hook that white girl again. Okay, but it was crazy because she was actually white. <laughs> <It> was- <laughs> I have a question yeah. before I lose it. In your marriage with um, Ned Flanders, <laughs> um, <laughs> what music would he play to set the movie? Oh my gosh! Uh, okay, Please y'all don't gotta, tell me something. This is my. This is. I'm getting into my whole set here. Basically, I'm just getting into my set. Um, I need this. All right. I, I've I'm, been. I'm nervous. I know, right? It was a lot of, um, a lot of Christian music. Um, Sometimes just instrumentals. Instrumentals. He liked Mary Mary. He liked... Um, there's some Christian, like, R&B kind of, like, dude. Mm. This guy named um, Xavier or something. He's really singing about God, but I'm like, yeah. He's talking about pussy. I'm sure he's talking about I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm. Um, so there are some type of sensual playlists, and he was a, you gotta like, really good You got to send me some songs. Yeah, I was singing I, some stuff. 
Um, but you know, at first I said it was songs, like, not stuff. Okay, yeah, songs. I'm, I'm, play, I'm song. playing with you. I'm education. I'm see whole care package and stuff. Sure, sure package. You gonna be a little at least strawberry when I get done. Ooh wee. Or at least some vanilla and a little bit of chocolate. You know the little swirl a little bit. I'm, I'm just trying to get swirl. you. Keep it swirl. Yeah. Trying to change. I'm my just life trying to get already. you ready for your wife. Shoot, sure, that's all it is. Mm. You gotta have. You can't be strictly vanilla. You gotta have like at least like a little sprinkles from here on. You know. Yeah, a little that's rat. Good. Like I say, a little razz with okay. this. Yeah. So I'm trying to help. Still doing my part in the community. She's doing a really know? good part in the community. Oh, you doing you. doing the lowest work. <laughs> All right, go back that. to the music. Back to the music. Back to the music. Yeah. Um, so instrumentals, a lot of smooth jazz. Mm-hmm. Um, he liked Jill Scott. Uh, there's his British. Oh, we both like this. This. Wait, guy. wait. He liked Jill Scott, yes. the most sexual deviant like out there. Yes. Okay. Yes, he loved. Her. He would like. We was going to see her live. Like, oh, oh God. Oh, we was going to see live uh, secular. Where you went? Where but I used to have to sneak and listen to it in the car. And I used to have to switch it back to the fish when we got to my destination. But sometimes I forget. Yeah. And he'd be like, um, we got to talk. You oh, know, Lord. He'd sit me down. And he'd be like, so, yeah, uh, is everything going on with you, babe? I'm like, I'm thinking like, oh, shit. Because I done did so much shit. I'm like, what are you going to find? Is this porn? You know, oh, like, my fuck? goodness. <laughs> this is like, like, it's tragic, but comedy. Yeah, and exactly. it's... And so I'm like, what, 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 what? I feel like I need hand sanitizer after this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, so he was like, um, yeah, I just I just noticed, you know, that every time you got to cars, you know, sometimes it's like, it's it's our, you know, that, that secular station, you know, the one with all the rappers and stuff. And and what's really troubling is that it's, it's up real loud, you know, it's like to the max, you know. I mean, why would anybody want to listen to it? You know, I, 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 I just, that's just all the, I, 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 I just. How, you know, like, I the just, fact I just that you understand. stay with Yo, the, I, 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 yeah, that, that's his like, I would have So his him. voice is, his man voice is different from, like, the. It know, sounds like he's doing voice. math. He's like, he sounds like he's doing mental yeah, math. Yeah, yeah. He was without, more, without, like, pulled together, like, the new, my dude, nah, he got his man. You know, that's yeah. it. That's his voice. But my ex-husband's voice is different. Yeah, I feel like you, what the fuck was I going to say? He. Is a square like how did you you like stay with eight years? That's a long time to stay with somebody like that, especially because you're the polar opposite of him. Well, it was a lot of it was like I was withholding a lot of stuff from mm. from myself. That sucks. And the person that you see here, the woman you see sitting here and telling all these stories, I wasn't like as confident, or I right. wasn't sure. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of stuff I had to That's discover fair. about myself, and yeah. and then feel confident enough to talk about you know mm-hmm. to. You know, a, I see myself. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I hope yeah. that's a good thing. No, like, it's a great thing. Okay. <laughs> it's a great thing. Not the, you know. I'm off on Tuesday, y'all. We try this again. You just so, <laughs> so, yeah, I, my whole Fuck thing them is tacos. Just about empowering people, uh, especially women, um, to do things <laughs> that they want to do. I think the hardest part is just because, like, there's not really a definition for a lot of things. Because people don't realize there's so many different umbrellas, like we were saying. Mm-hmm. Well, that well, that was one of my questions, though. So, with well, I didn't know this conversation gonna go this way, but I'm kind of glad it's, it kind of works itself out in a sense. With people not have some people are running from labels because they don't know or they don't want to be thrown into a box, whereas mm-hmm. some people want the labels because they want to redefine what they are. Mm-hmm. Which one do you think is more productive? I don't care about redefining anything. Like I really don't give a shit about yeah, it. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't either. care about like. You I, just said, just tell me what, where, 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 tell me where I'll, I'm gonna need to go down and go shopping. Yeah, I would like to. I think labels are important because they help us not only um, identify the way we are, the way we feel, but it also helps us connect with other people. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, definitely. So labels are important in that way. You like Google search terms? That's what it is, huh? I do. Yeah. Oh. Like I need I need a label because I need to know who I'm looking up. Oh yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, so yeah. we, you know, we, you pop that VHS tape in. I'm on VHS tapes right now. I, I was about to say what? what, what I said what tapes. year are we in? Who I know. I don't know why. VHS. I've been lately. I've been referencing VHS tapes. I, I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know why, but um, you know, you want to know what you're popping in before you, you know, so you can see what you're getting into. Facts. So as simple as that. That's it. So the reason why I am the way I am is because I struggle with trying to figure out who I am. And I understand that there's a lot of women and some probably handful of dudes too that was going through the same thing I was and probably feel lost. And that feeling is so awful. It is such a disheartening, like, just awful feeling. It's just It just sucks to feel like, you know, have these desires or having, like, you know, 
having somebody tell you that is wrong to be who you are, or what you want to, you know, like that type of thing. Mm-hmm. Right now in my relationship, <clears throat> I feel like that I'm drowning, and I feel like I feel like I'm you... stuck, and I feel like by him withholding this. Because technically, I really don't need his permission to to mm-hmm. pursue what I want. I could just be like, "This is it." Yeah, but it would I be want probably to, it'd be cheating. Right, right, exactly. What I'm saying is, yeah. I could just break it off and oh, then, yeah. you know, what I'm saying completely pursue and go after what I want. Are you That's comfortable with saying that on camera? I mean, at this point, you know, I've I said mean, it before. She is. She didn't reveal everything. Else. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, <laughs> right. and just, you know, and, and I've said it on. I've do. I've, I've said this like in my stand up sets before. You okay, know? okay. Mm-hmm. So and it, so he knows it's about me. Um, but my whole thing is, I feel like, like, and, and this is, I said this to somebody, and they was like, whoa, 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 sis, like, you got it way off, you know? But I said, him for, for forcing me into a, a monogamous relationship is almost like him forcing me to be in a, like, a somebody be forcing someone else to be in a gay relationship and a straight. Or, that makes sense. Or a straight relationship. I understand and, that. and that's what I feel. I understand that. That's, I understand yeah, that's that. what I feel. But and you met, and it's not like you deceived him what you what you wanted up front. Like you were like struggling internally. Like you went into your marriage with, mm-hmm. you came into a situation. You met him in your element, looking for that element, mm-hmm. and then, you, yeah. Yeah, and I think so. We I, have the, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Me, straight men that like anal play done to them. Do you think they are bisexual or gay? No. I wouldn't okay. say all of them. I would say a handful, but not all of them. If you had to give a percentage. It, it's so many things that go into that. Like, I would have to see their, how they speak and how they hold their hands. Like, if they it's a, a dude. Yes, I'm telling you, if it's a straight dude and he holds his asses too long and he be like, period, sis, and he like anal stuff, but he done marketed himself as, as, stri- as straight and he like anal. I he think that's a little easier to see. So Okay, that's why I said I can't tell with that. You know? Oh, yeah, she's right. That's that what makes I'm sense. Saying. You know? What about men that don't classify themselves as gay because they're the one doing the penetration, not being penetrated? Oh, a top? That's what it's called. They're tops. Uh, but still, yeah. you would classify them as gay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you yeah. only do it because, okay. But, just not, no, but, but, she, but I know guys that have, I've not, I've, I've worked with them. You're talking about they penetrate other men, right? Yeah, but so the thing is with him, the first, my first um, knowledge of it, it was a guy I worked with. He had a living girlfriend, um, child together, and he was having an affair behind her back with a guy. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I don't know the extent of all their sexual interactions. It's like the third party information came to me mm-hmm. with that. And it's like, I don't know what he would classify himself as, but also. I just feel for his his woman because not only are you getting cheated on, but you're getting cheated on by, by like if he like it's kind of like if a, if a woman if a woman were to cheat on a man with another woman and he's like thinking about all these girls trips and all these girl weekends mm-hmm. and girl nights and all that stuff adds up and it's like now you have different levels of trauma and, and trust issues. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm thinking about. I yeah. feel like in that situation though, he's he's gay. Yeah. He's oh yeah. Lying. He's he's definitely gay. He's I just actually have a face. Yeah, I, I, I believe like so too, but I mean, but you know, this it's not but my people community. Could, yeah, people can he can he can identify as bisexual. Who knows? But mm-hmm. that's gay. Baby. Yeah, it's gay either way it goes. Like, yeah. I like how you said when her voice got deep. Yeah, it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that gay bro. That gay bro. I'm gonna tell you. It's just, it's, I feel true, like bro. it's it's just so, so much. I, I I don't know when it comes to men, it's so hard because mm-hmm. it's like a bisexual man. It's like you're literally getting depending on. Situation, you're getting penetrated mm-hmm. by another man, and then you're going to penetrate a woman. Like men can't wrap their heads around uh, straight men can't wrap their heads around that. And I feel I'm like, one of them, yeah. right? But like it's out there. It I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm, just, but I guess because I'm a heterosexual man, it mm-hmm. just does. It you can. I don't think you can ever make it make sense to me. No, yeah. because I, mean, I don't feel like people should. They should have, like it, an understanding would be better. But here's the thing, and this is how I look at it. Okay, so I I don't. I don't like black licorice, right? I don't think it tastes well. It doesn't really look quite appealing to me. I just don't like it. But guess what? They sell black licorice at the grocery stores in aisle three with the rest of the candies. You know what? Why do you know the aisle? So, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, so the black licorice is not my thing. But guess mm-hmm. what? There's pink licorice, and then there's red licorice, and then right in the middle, there's black licorice. 
Now. You like the red because we already said you don't like the pink. Mm-hmm. Actually, I really don't like licorice at all. But I'm using this as an I example. As an example. Yeah. Now, just because I don't like, okay, because I don't like the black, um, I don't licorice. care for it, I don't yeah. prefer the black uh, licorice, it's not my type, mm-hmm. I'm not getting ready to go down aisle three and just be picking it up and looking at the ingredients and all that stuff. I'm going to walk past it. Thanks. You know why? Because it ain't got shit to do with me. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with me. It's not going to ever go in my buggy. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be in my house. Okay. Now, do I hate black licorice? Well, I don't hate it. It's just not for me. It's okay. just not, you know what I'm saying? I just it's all rock with it. Now, mm-hmm. do I fuck with other licorices? Yeah, I'll try. I'll even try the pink one. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? But, so try it. like, and do I not like people who like black licorice? No. I don't. You like, I will buy black licorice for you. You come over to my house, you know, Bella, I <laughs> well, love Well, let's keep with this licorice. metaphor and make it political. Okay. You don't, um, you don't like black licorice, mm-hmm. and... But you find out they're trying to put black licorice on the menu at the school. Whoever wants to, again, it's in the aisle at the grocery store. Whoever wants to partake mm-hmm. in that black licorice eating, consuming, let them have it. I, I mean, what I'm saying is, I'm saying not the students, the governing body, like the adults, are trying to insert it into the curriculum. Again, if it does not have, if the people who... You know, there is something, it's got to be a body that that likes it. So, for those people, mm-hmm. it exists. It's an option. Right. Now, if they were forcing people to try it, That's you different. might like it. Oh, you hear it's going to be, everybody's going to get some of this black licorice, and if you like it, you eat it. But if you don't, spit it out. Then that's an issue. Then you force feeding black licorice to people, and that's wrong. Or mm-hmm. if you go around and you looking at people's plates, oh, this nigga, oh, stick out your tongue, your tongue, like, oh, and I'm about to beat you. Like, that's, that's. Oh, you're going to have to come back you know for the next saying? part. But other than that, it don't have nothing to do with me. Thanks. It has nothing to do with me, and I could really care less. Now, if I see, now I need to start caring if I start seeing people that eat black licorice start to get, like, uh, hurt. They start to get, you know, uh, damage done to them or whatever, teased, harmed. Well, see, now that's where you access another group of people who say if you like the black licorice, you are damaged already. And that's where this whole conversation starts. Mm -hmm. And even with that being said, how can you say that but you don't, express your sexuality to your children? Well, I say that because that is just my preference. The same way I don't tell a stranger that I like to get fucked on the back. Like, because it don't have nothing to do with nothing. Yeah. yeah. No, now, if my kids ever came to me and was like, Mom, what do you like? Then I maybe I would have a conversation with them, but I'm yeah. not really ready to sit them down and have, like, a full house moment. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And have, you know, Uncle Danny and them come in. Well, not you Uncle know, Danny. honestly, I, well, when I first ate pussy, it was 1998. When, you know, I, I told the bitch, I met the bitch, it's quick. Like, no, I'm not about to, you know, do that. You know, because it's a preference. It what goes on in my private domain. I call it the sweet, um, <laughs> the sweet, sweet. But, um, you know, whatever goes inside on that, sweet. yeah, the sweet, sweet, uh, whatever goes inside of that, that space that belongs to, that's, you know, my mama's space. The same way they don't fuck with my ice cream, you know what I'm saying? Or my, my, my vanilla cook, my lemon cookies, the same thing. Lemon so cookies. I can tell situ- that she was serious. That forehead got, yeah, in sorry. your situation yeah, you though, can. because you don't have kids of your own, but you did mm-hmm. take, you did take care of your brother. Mm-hmm. So you have the aspect of a caretaker. Okay. Um, you would have, I would just say, like, your parents, for example. Would you feel comfortable going to your mom and saying, hey, mom, I just fuck this bitch like this, this, that, and the third, da, 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 da. You have to think about, like, that with, like, like, kids. No, no, no. So, me going to the parent or the parent coming to me? You, so, you're asking her if she would go to her kids, so you going to the parent. Mm-hmm. Well, if if the lifestyle is, is alternative, I mean, do y'all even like that label of an alternative lifestyle? Well, right now... We're monogamous. We live away. We had a mortgage and a, you know what I'm saying, They're a kid and a baby. Like, mm-hmm. we are, you don't get no straighter, straight legs than that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we are living like uh, the American dream right now. Right. So, but if you, if that other side of that curtain is peaked at, you would classify that as alternative, right? Maybe, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So, mm-hmm. so you're basically, your method is don't say anything unless the conversation comes up. Okay, so what what we're talking about going back to school, if people are trying to insert that into the curriculum to teach other children and, and you have you as a parent to say, if they let them discover it on their own and you have people to saying, let's insert it into the curriculum and now teach them about these different lifestyles and it, it spawns more early on. That's what I'm asking. Oh, okay. I got what you're saying. I see I'm not looking at it from like 
you know, kids and stuff like that. Cause mm-hmm. For some, like kids. I mean, when we even say, even, even, even like, we say kids, you, middle school, what's, mm-hmm. how soon is too soon? Elementary, middle school? Well, I started talking to my kids about, like, my kids know about sex. I, I started talking to them about sex, not only, like, before I got married. Well, when I was married, when they learned about biblical sex, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No. I'm sorry. I, 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 I learned about it like that. Yeah, so. you know what? Like that, they learned about it that way, but then like post divorce and everything, I kind of had to like go after that because I realized that the same damage and stuff that I because I experienced church hurt at the end of the day, um, and so I had to kind of re go through all this stuff because I got it's easy to hear it in theory, and then now you're a teenage girl with these feelings or a teenage boy and these feelings and mm-hmm. you know high school and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So. Um, you know, I have conversations with with my with my kids about stuff. I joke a lot about things. Um, just try to make it light, you know, lighthearted. My, when I start talking about anything sexual, anything, my kids, uh, 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 when I get my, they don't like me to kiss my boyfriend. For they, uh, uh, nah, nah. Mm. And my kids do not eat after me no more because my son will be like, look, ma, I don't know what you what you've been doing. You know, <laughs> like for real, he he was. <laughs> He hurt That's my feelings. Yeah, and I get it. He hurt my feelings. Good. And he got a whole new straw. <laughs> uh, That's okay, mom. I, I got my own straw. Mm. What? He's my little man. Like, I was, you know, he I ain't even mad his, at him, though. He like, lost his innocence. That's what I'm saying. He's older shit now. Yeah. Damn. He was like, I don't even know, you know. And my daughter's, you know, um, when I talk to him, I be like, you know, one day you're going to bring home a man or a woman. You know what I'm saying? I make sure mm-hmm. I, I keep that kind of conversation, right? you know, open with them or whatever. One of my kids going to be gay. Like, one of them. Somebody going to be doing something. <laughs> it ain't going to be my son. I know that already. Um, but one of them girls is going to bring home another girl. I, I already know. Um, that gay dark. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I don't know which one yet. But just because me, you know what I'm saying? Like, how I am, I don't know. Maybe it might be. I don't know. You based on the prob- uh, probabilities? Like, you doing the math? Probably. Okay. The pro- I mean, because I got three. I okay. had three girls back to the back. Like, something going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You talking about, like, year, year, year. Well, I have a uh, 18-year-old girl, a 16-year-old girl, and then, you know, because I don't, you know, tequila and poor choices, I got a two-year-old. So... <laughs> Um, we were supposed to have tequila tonight. We, and mind you, we have this conversation sober. Yes, a lot of, lot of, I don't drink. So. A, lot of, a lot of yeah, a lot of the conversations have kind of turned into this because of drinks. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah I'm I'm good because I don't even. I don't even need no drink. I don't talk about this shit any day. Oh, see, that's All good. Day. You're like a young me. <laughs> that's as I said that. I mm-hmm. see me in her. Young me. I wish I was as fly as you are when I was 27. <laughs> Thank you. For real. Yeah. Oh, man. I had all the hoes. I was, I'm just I'm joking. I'm that's the thing. I had hoes. I was a dumbass when I was playing. But I'm finna get them back. That's I'm gonna get my hoes back. Right. Okay? Don't worry. Right. I'm coming for that. <laughs> See? I gotta follow you on Instagram. What's your, what's your, your idea? Um, my I'll Instagram? send it to you. I'll send it to you. Okay. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> but no. Um, this is very bit. It's been very um, enlightening, is all I can say. Well, good. I'm, I feel like I took over. I, I, I no, like I, I want my... I want Anytime I have a guest on, I want them to... Be the spotlight. Have the spotlight on. I'm them. glad you took over. Okay, good. I like being a spotlight. If, if you ever watch my show, I barely in yeah. have I've my input in. I've seen the clips. Of the clips. I'm, it's always me asking questions. That's pretty much what I do. Yeah, and I've seen some ones. I'm like, oh, okay. And that's why I really was like excited that you invited me as a guest. I was like, holy shit. Like, um, <laughs> yeah. But I thought it was. I thought it was y'all talking about nasty stuff. I really thought it was. So when you said you was vanilla, I was like, oh shit. Well. I misread the situation all wrong. No, it's you know? real. And then it's, it was like, it's well, a house. It's, so I was like, oh, hell yeah. I'm saying, it's probably some, you know, <laughs> fucking in the back going on. But, <laughs> you know, but no, I misread it. It's that it's not. Well, it's this very professional set. And there's no fucking, I repeat, no fucking going on in the back. During so, the show. During the show. And I don't know. I didn't hear anything. I don't, I'm not getting any no vibes and nothing, y'all. I don't know. Maybe with the <laughs> other guests. Did you say fucking tacos? I don't know, but. <laughs> 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 like, I'm gonna get my tacos. Right. So, um, um, tell me about your projects you got coming up, uh, or how how often do you hit the stage? Yeah, let me see. As much as I can, I try to do like three open mics a week. Okay, and at least I try to get like one pay show a week. I mean, mm-hmm. I would take any pay show if I could switch that number around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do that in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just got to the point where I started getting paid to to do jokes and yeah. tell okay. jokes and whatever. Okay. So. Um, do you have any d- designs on acting, or do you want to be more behind the scenes? More behind the scenes. Okay. Um, but I realized that I really have to start considering it. Before, I've been Your pursuing... personality kind of demands it. You think so? Are you talking about acting? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I think I've always wanted to, but I just wasn't confident with my looks and my appearance, okay. you know? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, Well, the person that's before me says it's, it's, it's like, it's like you, I can see your duality mentally. And right now, it's that, that's the old you talking to this version of you now. But the person I see before me does it's like, yeah, I'm, I, I need that. Oh, well, thank you. Look, I appreciate all that encouragement. I'm going to call you every day now because I need that, like, every day. That's, don't downplay your dopeness. Just, just send her a voice now. <laughs> I, I just kept hearing your, uh, hearing you say that, don't downplay your dopeness. I'm serious, like, that's, I'm draining in that way. And I mm-hmm. have to warn people that, like, in my little dating profile, well, that's not dating, it's, um. Yeah, clean it up. We were both on Tinder by mistake. Like, but you know how it, it gives you an area, yeah, a yeah, radius yeah, or whatever, yeah. and this nigga came up in my feed and I came up in his feed. No, actually I never he never came up in my feed because he didn't fit my filter. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, damn. But I came up in his probably Oh, that's because, funny, y'all. Yeah. How your real life this is partner this, this, don't this, fit I'm your filter. I'm telling you all my stand-up jokes now. Okay. This is my stand-up jokes. But yeah. That's really what uh, most I want comedians come here and do, but we actually end up having like these therapy like, sessions. Really, I was going to say, like, really good like conversations. Um, yeah, yeah comical, that's comical basically what happened. Um, I probably asked one thing. question on the list. Oh. <laughs> no, it's was, it was dope, though. It's dope, yeah, though. It's yeah, dope. No, we ended up... Um, and I outed it during a, a show. He was in the audience, you know, but he didn't know that I knew. You know, he didn't know that I knew that he knew. Oh. And he was like, he was questioning me about, so when last he was talking about this shirt that I had, like this, um, it's a little shirt that I, it's too short. It's the shirt got too goddamn small. <laughs> really, I need to get that shit away. <laughs> but my titties just be looking wonderful. And I got on like, I think it was my, my pre baby titties. No, my post baby titties. Man, I when I, I know, when I had. When they got full? Yeah, yeah. And I had, I snapped. I it's switched so, it out. That's a, as a man, it is so weird. Because y'all get like, y'all get more like more voluptuous and then y'all get like that glow. And it's like, I want that. Right now, <laughs> and then y'all like, yeah, don't touch them. This, it's for the baby. Yeah, this is baby. No, yeah, for the baby. Yeah, don't touch yeah. me. I feel like that now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you ever um, had a man drink your breast milk? No. You think that's weird? Not. Yeah, I think it's very weird. Why? But I know a bitch who well, sent her drink- kids through college. Huh? With, I know a bitch who sent her kids through college with breast milk, selling her breast milk. But you know, breast milk. I mean, because it's, a it's fetish. more natural. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is natural. Yeah. It's a fetish. Um, I wasn't looking at as more of a fetish. I said it passing as a joke to uh, someone that I know just had a baby, and then it kind of it kind of morphed into a conversation. Like how this conversation yeah. organically it's happened. A, it's a whole community of men out there. It's a genre of porn. Mm-hmm. The reason why I know about the different genres. Yeah, I never. No, nah, that's different. Yeah, the reason why I know about the different genres and sub and uh, categories and all that stuff is because I worked in the sex industry, not as a sex worker. I just had to say that, but because I worked in it and I was supplying those people, so mm-hmm. I had to learn all those different things. So I know that they exist, what's and the, so I know who's neglected. What's the most <laughs> abnormal toy that you've ever come across? Um, it's called a heel dough. There's actually a couple of them. But I'm this sorry, was, you said a heel dough? Yes, okay. it's called a heel dough. Um, it is a deal dough. She was too ready with that answer. Yeah. <laughs> it's a heel dough, and it's a deal dough that you wear on your heel, your ankle, your foot. Mm-hmm. So it's meant for you to bounce on like this. But with my, your uh, foot behind you. Yeah, with your foot behind <gasps> you. That's okay. genius. Girl, no, girl. My she knees, do, she my double knees, joined it, so knees, she like, yo. I, I ain't got my knees. My class 2000 knees, yeah. <laughs> That's what they, <laughs> they these 39 year old knees. These 39-year-old knees. Nah, she double jointed. She put her thumb back there by her forearm. Oh, shit. Okay. And yeah, she that like, might be for you. But yeah. that's like the um, weirdest thing. Um, there's, there are, if you ever see like dildos in the store, they're not like uh, shaped like a dick. They shape like maybe a, a, a lollipop or a, mm. like a unicorn horn or something like that, maybe twisted or whatever. They're made for lesbians. Those are for lesbians, cause le- a lot of lesbians, most lesbians, don't want anything phallic looking, but yeah. they still want penetration. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so they'll, and these are the ones typically that like uh, use that like to be penetrated, you mm-hmm. know. Um, and so, but they don't what want about anything. lesbians that have sons. Like, what are they, I mean, it's like, what are, what are they getting? Like, they are they trying Johnson out like as a um, like 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 Sam's Club samples? What do you mean? Like like lesbians that have children. Like, are they? Oh, maybe they just developed. They just look. I figured out that I wanted to be that I'm whatever later in life. So maybe they just is. Maybe they were fighting the urge to be a and lesbian okay. after you know. And some lesbians, um, or they want kids, have an agreement to you know get pregnant and have babies, but they're mm-hmm. lesbians. I saw a, a a girl on Instagram today. Uh, 
he had stud that made me question everything about my life. Um, <laughs> and she had a son. Like, she showed her pictures of her pregnant with him. It ain't like, because I know a lot of bitches that have a baby, and then they break up, and then a lot of bitches, I don't want that baby, I don't want that baby. And I said, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole baby That's out funny. here. And the bitches done broke up with each other. You know I mean, and it's, it's funny, a whole baby it's out here. Funny. I know a lot of people like that, like, stuck with kids. And they mostly like, be like, but, but they treat them like, they treat them like a cat that they didn't like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no, like, um, I know a girl who uh, a girl who's a stud who had the very same situation. They, I'm about to start my family. What I happens she with the kid in that situation well, it, it, that you've seen? Um, he seems like a good young man. He's about maybe nine or ten now. Mm. She's raising him on her own. She's a, literally a single mom. The bad part about where you fucked up at is she calls. She wants a little boy to call her daddy. And that's what's that's what's like. And the reason why it's weird is because she's not like she trans. don't identify as trans. At no point. She's just a lesbian lady. You know what I'm saying? And so now she's forcing this 10-year-old boy who has been calling her daddy his entire life because at one point he had a mommy. You know what I'm saying? So now, instead of her having two mommies, now it's, it's crazy. It's the that's, whole thing. That's crazy. wild. But whatever, teach us all. And technically, the baby's not even hers because she didn't give birth to the baby. I was going to say, don't the baby say with the one that gives yes. birth? Yes, yes. But the one who gave birth didn't want the baby. Left both of them. That's wild. Left both of them. Mm-hmm. And these are not like marriage contracts or nothing like that. These no. are some, some reckless ass honey bitches that's just like, yeah, fuck that bitch. I ain't get. And she, I think the girl went back to men. The baby mama went back to men, but she couldn't bring her, you know what I'm saying? Her last baby? Yeah, she couldn't bring that back to her. Like, yeah, you can. Yeah, that's what, what I'm you saying, wanted, she right? She didn't, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm saying she, like, in her mind, she's like, all right, let me, I'm, I'm going to ask a very serious question. It might sound like a joke. I got to say that because people don't know me. Do you think she didn't want the child because the damage was being done by the gender confusion? I'm know. mommy, I'm daddy, and like, okay, I'm done with that situation. I'm done playing that way. You play, you keep that because that's what you do. I don't think so because I feel like that's something that could have been easily corrected if she was Definitely. that irritated by it. Like, no, nah, bitch, I'm mama, you mama. Like, but just weird shit. Why are you call her daddy? You ain't you're not the daddy. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's weird. Like, like she could have. I feel like she could have like communicated that instead of like leaving. Mm-hmm. And what you happens know? with the kid when the kid gets older and wants to meet his mom. real mom? Like, and real dad too. Oh, they didn't go to a sperm bank? No. Get the fuck out of here. No, a lot of the, well, a lot of the lesbians that I've known, they don't do that. They they just go get some Johnson. It's expensive. It's so easy for y'all to go get some random Johnson. Like I thought, stomach dick. You know, for a long, you know what I'm saying? Stomach. No pun intended. No, but there's there's women out there. (laughs) There's women out there who can't take dick. Yeah. And who are lesbians? They're like, like they can't. That's the, the thought of it. No, like for real. Yeah. No, no, it's funny you say that. <laughs> I can't say that story because yeah, it's no, a friend, no. still a friend of mine. Go ahead. Yeah, watch yourself. <laughs> so, any other questions? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, question uh, in. Nah, I think we got we got tons of episodes to unpack here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You definitely have to do what you said and bring. The other all, women. The, all the ladies. I think that would be a great segment for you. <laughs> no, it's, it's, no, it's gonna be a great segment for all the ladies. It's gonna it's gonna be a big cuck suck situation. It's like all oh, this pussy I can't have. Oh. Sucks aside, it's okay. I mean, well, it's not mm-hmm. pussy I can't have because it's like I mean, I was gonna know. say mm, there's a, at least two people I think he would give it to you, <laughs> or he would give it to them. It's a mutual giving. Yeah, see, that's what it is. Like, I think that's and that's the issue. Like, men feel like they have to be chosen. I get it. I don't play Wait, well. I don't play well with a lot of females. So I'm kind of glad. Men have not to be because chosen? of me. Oh, men have to be like the chosen one. Like, like you have to choose. Like, okay, you have four women here. You have to be chosen by one of them, and not you choose which one of them you want. I feel like this. Oh, that's some. Oh, that's some pimp shit. So on yeah. some on some pimp shit, like. I'm liking what's liking me. Okay. Okay. Mm, all right. All right. Okay. I understand it. I because that. all the other three, they never gonna get with your program. They're not gonna be on your on your time, and then it's gonna be always a built in battle, and that's where it's gonna be complications at. And then you basically gotta play mind games with them. But the one that chose you, you know what time it is. It's easy. It's more. That's facts. Yeah, more I malleable. I understand. I like to be chased. I typically don't. Uh, I'm glad I'm the only one and here choked. today because <laughs> see, young me. For now, <laughs> ladies, gear up. Coming for y'all, cause I do want that. Cause like I, I okay, I've there's 
well, there's literally one person I don't agree with who's mm-hmm. been on here. But like everyone else, as far as a female, like I feel like we all have similarities. <laughs> no, no, no. A- no as no, far as experiences, about the messages I'm about to get. Right? <laughs> I feel like the experiences. Is that, this live? This isn't live. Nah, no. Nah. Oh, okay. The experiences that the women that I've that I've been on here with mm-hmm. are similar, I and mean, we like can all relate except for one person. Um, but I feel like we were all together. No, I think that might be the one thing that... All right, never mind, shut up. I think when, once we're all together, we're going to realize no, that we're way more similar than... Because I have a problem with women, too. Like, yeah, I'm mean, not a girl. Yeah, they but don't like, like me. They're going to find have, y'all tribe. Me either. I don't have... I don't have female... I have literally have three female friends, and they're all back in Chicago, where, from mm-hmm. where that's where I moved from. Um, and that's it. Like, even coming... Even out here, mm-hmm. I, know, I know how bitches get jealous. And, like... I'm naturally, again, to my own horn, I'm naturally pretty. I literally have eyelashes on an eyeliner. That's it. Mm-hmm. They, they hate, hate it. Me. They hate me. it. This is and all I'm just like, different. This is something, like, this is something It's new. very pretty, though. Thank you. I was I was a, a, a model for a girl, uh, a new makeup artist. Oh. Yeah, and um, she's just like, I need some models. And uh, somebody else was like, I need somebody. With, she needs somebody with a basic face. And I was okay. like, well, my face is kind of basic. No, no, no basic you know? face. I can't And so um, here we are. So this is, like, I typically just do, like, Eyeliner, mascara, that's it. Yeah, I'm very simple. Mm-hmm. But that, I guess, is a problem for females. And I, again, I think male it's, men... I think it's because they have to... Well, certain women have to... Well, certain people... In in, in situation where you see something that's very easy for one person, you have to try so hard just to be somewhat in that realm. And then you take all that stuff away, and it's like, uh, it's not the same. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's built-in envy. Yeah. I typically wear my hair natural. This is new because I cussed out the lady who normally do my hair. Mm. So I, I was like, I'm just going to buy wigs. Fuck you, bitch. I don't need you. She overpriced me because it's prom season. My daughter went to prom. Oh, yeah, and the hairstyle too. that we'd get all the time was $50 more. Damn. Yeah. That's a lot. Ex- Exactly. And this economy, no. Yeah, like fifty dollars more than it normally should be. So I cussed her <laughs> your out. Sh- your shimmy though, your angry shimmy. <laughs> yeah, your shimmy. <laughs> that shit is ridiculous. Cause you understand? I mean, hair. Like, okay, yeah. you won't get it, but it's, yeah, I get you. Like he gets it. Okay. Luxurious. Oh, yeah, yeah, luxurious locks. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. So nice. I feel like once, because it's gonna happen. I'm speaking into existence right now. Once that happens, well, I think we'll all see the dynamic and where we kind of all relate in certain areas. Like me, I feel like, okay, not the point, sorry. No. You and I relate a lot more than the last guest, but mm-hmm. I liked her, like her as far as like her viewpoints and shit. Mm-hmm. And did I, was I with any other female? <laughs> oh yeah, I was with another one, but she's, she's very, out, she's, she's nice, but she's very outspoken. But like, oh, yeah. what are you talking about? See, I'm not out. Well, there's a lot of, I'm well, not outspoken, but I am direct. Which is what I like. Yeah. I get to the point. Well, uh, well, I, I explain what she was talking about. Yeah. I don't think it's not the fact that she was outspoken. I don't think. I think um, what she. I guess what she was trying to say. A lot, a lot of things she was said was um, she was very indecisive, but she wasn't. Una- she wasn't aware of how indecisive she was coming across. Yeah. There's a lot of things that uh, collided, like logically, like you. Was, it's a lot of double talk with oh, her. Yeah. And I'm and I'm a Virgo. I'm very logical, analytical, so, yeah. and analytical. So it's like this doesn't work for me. Yeah. <laughs> and I told him, I'm like, I'm not the type of person to argue. You're gonna be yeah, mad at me. Yeah, I was gonna say me. they're gonna be. Um, there's there's women um, who are they mask it as being like out. They mask it as being extroverted, but these are the women that are you hear them before you see them. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They're very um, confrontational. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That type of thing. And <laughs> you've been watching clips. Oh, <laughs> I'm no not key. that person. You no, know, no. I am. I'm not a mean girl. I've never been a mean girl. I've never be a mean girl. You know, I just no, I, I don't either. rock with them. Um, and, but I am very direct, you mm-hmm. know, I like what I like. I'm pre cougar. So, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah so. limit. I feel like that's why I say um, I see myself. What's yes. too young? What's too young? 23. Apparently he's 22 young. Yeah. I think apparently, where does the apparently come from? My son is about to be 20 on Sunday. Oh, okay. So you got to go older young son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What's too old for you? 40. <laughs> Country days, boyfriend. 40. No, he's younger than me, though. He's 35. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, he's no, good. I, he's see, right I can't that, do younger. He's right at the sweet spot. Now he's getting too old for me. I'm like, man, you about to be 40. Like, I don't want to. I don't, I don't know. Like, old dick. Like, oh, he's old dick. Yeah, he be. Oh, I can't stand your ass, but. 
Yeah. See, that's Your what shimmies, funny. though. She's <laughs> funny. <laughs> like, I see myself. She is. She's no, that makes sense. She's so but funny. no, I can tell she's naturally funny. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't even remember she was a comedian, to be honest. Oh, but thank you. Even better. The comedian women are the ones that don't like me the most. Really? Oh, my yes, goodness. Man. Well, actually, I was going to ask about that. Um, I want to have you come back on with another female com- comedian, the other um, one that was scheduled to be here because I couldn't make it. Who is but, it first? I gotta I'll tell you off camera. Okay, yeah. But you got comedian beef? I do. She said the same thing. She said the same thing. And I don't think you guys even know each other because ethnic groups. But Mm. um, she said the same thing. I'm trying to get more into the white side. I don't want to be on the urban side. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get to the white uh, urban side of comedy. So if you hook me up, like, she might be able to, you know, we can work with each other. Oh, I had, well, she would be the second, excuse me. She'd be the second white comedian I would have on. Um, but the other other lady I had on, she was cool, too. I mean, I, I it's very easy for me to get along with comedians because I, I have a fondness, naturally, for comedians. And a lot, I guess, apparently, people think I'm a comedian, too. I thought you were. <laughs> See? I thought and you she thought, fuck, what's going on in the back, too? <laughs> like, hey, let me go down to the bathroom. Oh, you got a dungeon? No. What you call this? Sex caves. <laughs> The boom boom room. <laughs> the boom boom room, not the sweet sweet like I got. Not the sweet. Yeah, that's your house. I like the play on words with that though. Sweet sweet. Yeah, right. That's mm. funny. Sweet smart, I'm a writer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to audition for some of your screenplays. Just yeah. sound fast. I, just, I need readers. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I got an idea for that. I'll tell you off camera. Mm-hmm. Um, anything you else you need to plug? Anybody wanna? Um. So. I recommend, I, well, I, I need followers. I have a goal. I'm just trying to reach, like, a humble 10K of followers on Instagram. Um, and if you maybe TikTok, if I can get it to translate. By the end of the year, that is what I would like to do. Um, I got you on TikTok. Okay, cool. I got you on that. Um, you it's a lot easier to follow on that. Yeah. Um, you can follow me at on IG at Diary of an 80s Baby. Um, and I have all of the things I'm involved with, all the podcasts and all that stuff. Um, I do a podcast that's uh, pretty much for comedians by comedians. It is called Speaking of Funny with Bella and Sunny. Um, I do that with my co partner, um, the legendary Sunny G, who's a good friend of mine. Um, and and then I have my adult podcast, which is unnamed right now. Ooh. Can I come on and throw some names at you? Uh, for the oh, for the second I show, I think yeah. I think I think it'd be fun to have somebody as vanilla as me, just like cringe at all these different things. And that, the only reason why I was gonna say like, <laughs> are you sure? Because like you're gonna be very uncomfortable. The, of, the, of, the, or, of the of the of the of the conversation. Or? Well, no, I'm not gonna say you'll be. It depends on how open you are. Because my goal is not to make anybody cringe or feel uncomfortable. My goal. No, is no, to no. Educate. See, I'm, I'm joking when I talk about that. I mean, even the conversation here, like I'm very comfortable as far as the conversation goes. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I will say certain acts, like same sex, like because I'm I'm a heterosexual man, mm-hmm. that will make me feel a little weird. But it's usually, <laughs> I can't tell you my coping mechanism after. I'll tell you off, off camera. You just ravishly eat pussy afterwards? Because I know some people like that. Like, just if they like have that. any gay instances. What's the noise? Of? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll yes. put that Rick, Roy, Rick Ross. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, but no, I don't, oh, I don't uh, chime on just those type of topics. But yeah, you can come on anytime. Any, my door is open to, to either of you. Put me on with the comments first. I, I, yeah, okay. I'm, cool I'm with that. anything. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, um, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm Diary of an Eighties Baby on Instagram, and then I don't even know what my TikTok is, but um, I'll I have, put the links up on your. Yeah, room. and then I have a website, bellafunny.com, um, that you can visit, and I'm gonna have like merch there, and um, a link to all the places you can find me. You'll be able to find like upcoming shows. So I have like a calendar, um, of all type of things, and I'm probably gonna have. have Slash all my cats up there. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna be all kind of stuff up there. So yeah, um, that's it. That's all I'm plugging right now. All right. Um, Thank you for coming on. This has been wonderful. Um, I learned so many things. I definitely did too. Properly, oh, yeah. properly lubed, yeah. and and we found out what Christian people do the nasty to. Oh man, that's cringy. I just basically met my future me. Here she is. I hope you guys enjoy Probably her. Forty. You're going to be way better than me, honey. <laughs> way better than me. Boy. It's okay. I'm going to figure that out. <laughs> That's why you're going to be better than me. It's only at 40. You know, if you master what you want to master now at 27, honey, you're going to be unstoppable. I'm trying, I'm trying. Unstoppable, honey. 
I'm getting I'm, t- I'm getting the tweaks out. I believe the tweaks out. I believe in the you. The tweaks out. I believe in you. Listen, um, as always, if you think we got it right, go leave some love in the comments. If you think we got it wrong, go to the comments. Be respectful of my guests. Say it with your chest. Let's talk about it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. And with you being in the set, don't downplay your dopeness. Can I say one more thing? Go for it. Okay. I also accept unsolicited dick pics and or videos if they're shot with a ring light only. Come on, guys. It's like 25 bucks on Amazon. So, um, yeah.